video is I'm going to talk to you about um, ego manifestation in uh, relatively normal people, ego manif manifestation in um, people with healthy self-esteem, with undamaged self-esteem, so the opposite, people not of low self-esteem. But remember what I said, that the ego is something that it lives in, resides in all of us, um, in every single human being. And there's a divide between our ego personality of lower consciousness, when we haven't slept properly, when we're eating bad foods, when we're having a bad day because we're thinking negative thoughts, we, we are more inclined people with healthy self-esteem I've watched are more inclined to slip into um, negativity, people that aren't living the path, they're, they're more inclined to slip into the ego which is the opposite of their self-esteem, higher consciousness, it's their lower consciousness and it's the part of them that wants to say and in that mode, in, in that kind of wave of consciousness says why am I different, why am I better with normal people it is, why am I better than this person, why am I? And then the ego will search for reasons because you're in that wave of frequency. I'm better than this, I'm better you because of that. And it's not just thinking that, sometimes it has to make other people aware that um, you are better than because, and then that you'll see people act um, in ways to emphasize and to make other people recognize that they are better than them, which is largely ignored or whatever, but that's the point. Um, I've noticed for a long time that um, people, um, the way it manifests with my, way it's manifested with myself as I come up in the world, as I boost my self-esteem and lose a little bit less ego, still it's kind of, it's still a massive problem. But I've noticed that people uh, in their lower consciousness ego moments will often have to ask questions to emphasise the difference between them and me, um, when really their high consciousness um, already knows the answer to that question. So their high consciousness self-esteem knows the answer, but it also feels connected to me. But in their lower consciousness ego moments, they have to emphasize the difference of why they are better than me. Um, and if you're going to answer that question of why they're better than me, it's because they haven't been damaged, which is down to luck. And it's, I guess, bad luck that I got damaged um, because I didn't choose to lose my self-esteem in such a bad way. Uh, but it just happened to me. I didn't have any conscious control over it. I didn't know anything about how to fix myself at the time, so I just went, I spiraled downhill. So, if people need to ask me questions, like I've, I remember actually, I'll give you examples. I remember once um, when I was working in Boots, there was a lovely young girl starred me called Natalie, and once we were sitting in the kitchen, um, you know, lunch, her, me and another old lady that worked with us, and then Natalie said to me, um, oh Harry, why do you always look down when after you've talked? And that was, um, what was going on was she was in the ego consciousness, she was in the lower consciousness moment where she had to, she already knew the answer, her higher confidence, high, high consciousness, her confidence, her self-esteem already knew the answer to that question, but in order to ask me the question, she needed to make me realise that I was different to her, which is something that I already know, and she knows I already know, but she wants to emphasise the, the difference between me and her by making me think, oh, yeah. Do you see what I mean? I mean, she knows that I know that I'm different to everyone else, but the ego of herself wants to separate and make her, make herself feel superior even more um, by asking that question and putting me inside my head, which is something that I don't want, I didn't need at the time as I was growing, and particularly as the years go by and I grow and grow, it's something I let I need less, less, less. So it's something that less affects me, but I still remember it. So it did impact me at the time, and even now, sometimes my mum will tell me. Um, why do your eyes go so big? Um, and that's another thing, that's another ego consciousness, that's another low consciousness thing to say. Um, her high confidence, her, her, her esteem, her confidence, she really knows the answer to these questions, but they're just, the ego of themselves is emphasizing the difference. Why, how are you doing this? And I'll explain it, I'll say, well, because I'm damaged, but I'm my consciousness is going up a little bit and I'm getting passionate, so it does look different. It's always gonna look different because I'm a damaged person, but it's just, a way to shut me down, it, particularly in my mum's case, is it, it's to emphasise the difference, I'm better than you, but it's also a way of shutting me down from what I love talking about, because she'll often say that when I'm talking about things I really like, but I get excited and then my eyes go boom and wide as I pick up my consciousness and go, Ooh, and I can talk and talk and talk about my passions and my loves and uh, all these kind of things I'm thinking of at the moment. So yeah, and it happens, it happens all the time, you know, the, anyone that, in any one situation I notice, and this happens to me quite a lot, uh, well, it doesn't happen really quite a lot, but it, it does happen, and I always remember it, is someone will try and emphasise the difference by asking me a question, why do you this, Harry, why do you that, Harry? Um, da, 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 da. Just remember that in those, I have to remember as well, but for you guys, just to recognise that 
ego lives in all of us and ego wants to emphasize difference and you'll see acting out in people like you can see in their faces they in the moment they'll feel superior uh, and then asking questions they're prodding you towards trying to create even more difference the thing they already know because remember ego wants to say I feel better than you or I feel worse than you in someone with low self-esteem ego is I feel worse than you I'm a victim because this is my identity ego identity is I'm special because I'm a victim because I damage myself so much and anyone with low self-esteem like this oh I'm low um, I'm low self-esteem look at me I, I can't even do what you can do blah 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 that makes me different in a bad way that's why I need help someone with normal self-esteem will go oh ego I'm better than you because I feel superior to you because da -da -da. but you've got to remember ego is all bullshit because we're all dying we're all one consciousness we all come from the same source we all come from the same source whatever you want to call it God whatever we are all coming from the same consciousness and manifested in the human body even the psychopaths we are all manifestations of consciousness and consciousness is just one thing it's all it ever was all it ever will be it's all that's present now it is everything and it connects us all so we're all connected but the ego tries to convince us the ego of the body as soon as we inhabit a human body as a baby to the end of our lives we inhabit a body that is tempted at its lower consciousness by not being on not being passionate about things by doing what everyone else says by not thinking by eating bad foods and not exercising not looking after health our ego will rise it's tempted to rise and say i am better than you because and da -da 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 -da. it's all bullshit we all connected we all peace love so recognize the ego in any person it's not just doesn't just apply to low self-esteem and that's that